Welcome back to Think Create Code. So far, we've learned about processing functions, the order of instructions, and how to build more complicated images. But we're starting to get a bit bored by the black, gray, and white colors. For sure, we want to add a bit more color to our lives. This is what we will do today. We saw before how the fill function took as a parameter a number from 0 to 255, defining the fill color, where 0 meant black and 255 meant white, and all the numbers in between defined, defined shades of gray. Let's draw a white rectangle like this. What we want to do now is to add a dark gray triangle to this image. We define the fill as dark gray. The closer the number to 255, the lighter the shade of gray is, the closer to 0, the darker. So we define the dark gray by calling fill of 80 and then drawing the triangle. We know that the function that creates a triangle needs the coordinates of each point of the triangle. Remember, the fill function needs to be called before the triangle function in order for it to take effect. In the digital world, when we talk about a color, precision is required. Saying, hey, can you make that circle bluish green will not do. Color, rather, is defined as a range of numbers. We already know the simplest case, black and white or grayscale. Zero means black, 255 means white, and all the colors in between represent a shade of gray. Digital colors are also constructed by mixing three primary colors, which are red, green, and blue, following some rules, as shown by this image. No colors equals black. Remember the zero from the fill? All colors equals white similar to the 255 from the fill. Red plus green equals yellow. Red plus blue equals purple. Green plus blue equals cyan, which is a kind of bluish green. And red plus green plus blue equals white. As with the shades of gray, each of the red, green, and blue are expressed with numbers from zero, none of that color, to 255, all of that color. Each of the red, green, and blue values can be given as parameters to the fill function. Say we want to draw a rectangle and fill it with the brightest red. This means that we will have as much as we can of the red color and none of the other colors. That is a fill of 255, all the red, zero, none of the green, and zero, none of the blue. Once we've set the fill color, we can draw the rectangle. Similarly, if we want to draw a bright green rectangle, we will have as much of the green as possible and none of the red and the blue. So a fill of 0, 255, all of the green, 0, none of the blue. Once we've set the fill color, we can draw the rectangle. If we want to create yellow, we need to remember that red plus green equals yellow. So if we add all the red and all the green and none of the blue, that's it, a fill of 255, 255 and 0, then we should obtain yellow. Let's try to fill a circle. If we want to create purple, we need to remember that red plus blue equals purple. So if we add all the red, none of the green, and all of the blue, then we should obtain purple. Let's try to fill a rectangle. We've also gotten a bit too bored with the gray color of the background. So let's change that to yellow. We'll still draw the purple rectangle from before for greater contrast. The function that changes the background is called background. No news here. Similar to the fill function, it can work either with one parameter, in which in case it represents shades of gray, like this for a light gray, or it can have three parameters, which represents the red, green, and blue as above, like this for a yellow background. Now we can draw the purple rectangle. 